taking something, somebody parking somewhere, <laughs> you know, things like that. And that's that's a, a live project, and this happens to be a live uh, a feed we're getting from our building next door. And we call on uh, alerts and events. Alerts uh, are simply uh, events that exceeded a criteria. You establish a criteria, yeah. uh, you know, and then be able to take some action on that one. This is the one that was uh, somewhat interesting um, because invariably when I when I show this piece of work, a civilian um, group uh, is challenged by saying, well, I usually ask people, how many user IDs do you have? How many passwords do you have? And how do you maintain these passwords? You know, are you doing something like this? You know, putting that four little pieces of paper so you don't remember it. Passwords is a 1960s or earlier concept, right? Let's do away with the need to have user IDs and passwords. How can you do that? Well, one way we show that is what we refer to as our Edify single sign-up. It's using biometrics with this device to be able to log you on to all those applications, all those databases, all those websites that you have clearance to do. Right? It uses um, different biometrics, but one particular biometric that's of quite a, 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 a fairly good interest is what we refer to as finger vein technology. Right? This is using the pattern of veins in your finger to be able to identify, quote, your fingerprint. Not a fingerprint. Right? But what it does is, as infrared is shined through your finger, the hemoglobin in your blood will absorb some of the infrared, and you'll see a pattern then of the micro veins that are in your finger, which is unique as a fingerprint. Right? So what you do then is you have a sensor that says, okay, if, uh, if I want to authenticate who I am, it reads my finger veins, and it would authenticate me, log me onto all of those applications, and I don't have to remember a user ID. I don't have to remember a password. Right? I could use fingerprint readers. This happens to be um, some work we're doing with, uh, with uh, Hitachi, uh, but uh, it's all under the guise of some of this enterprise signal sign on So that's the, that's the holy grail. The question sign on, the holy grail being that single sign on capability? The single sign on capability, period, right? However, that's implemented. If it's finger vein, fingerprint, iris, you know, yeah, you could have uh, technologies like iris scanning. Um, would you want to do this? Probably not for every employee. Would you want to use fingerprints? Iris Maybe. Well, uh, you know, uh, it depends on who you're talking to. There's, there's these, these, these debates that go on all the time about which one is more accurate. And there are so many variables. Um, this can be construed as being highly accurate, but when you're dealing with uh, fractions of a percent, you know, if this is 99 or 98%, fingerprints are 98 or 97%, uh, it, the, the real discussion should be about identifying uh, false positives. Right? That's what you want from that. And we all know, have you ever used these fingerprint scanners on your laptops? No? Okay. I mean, people have. Yeah. <laughs> people have, right? Uh, and there's generally uh, 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 a mix on um, um, uh, uh, um, uh, opinion of them, right? Because there's a lot of false <laughs> negatives. Yeah. Well, voice recognition is is, is 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 very very good. In fact, we do have a project going on with our with our voice print technology um, that, of course, let's put it in boundaries, right? Boundaries would be what if you've got cold or hoarse or right? laryngitis, right? What if you cut your finger and you can't use your fingerprint? What if you uh, uh, you broke your finger and it's wrapped up in a cast and you can't use fingerprint or you, you know iris or something? You always have to look at these, um, and I get into a lot of these discussions about, uh, you know, uh, there's no one, we have never reached 100%. Right? And, and, and what we've got to be able to do is to look at the, the process that's in, in place to handle the exceptions. And I think that's what's really important.
So what, what's the advantage of the acceptance of which you know, sign on that is such as you know, open ID and then sending, you know, making a double, you know, double double factor of an invitation to the next day or bypass? Sure, sure. Uh, uh, I think they're all achieved the, the, the same result of yeah. doing that one. It's a question of how do you go about it. Uh, how do you go about doing that? Would you, would, do you want to use passwords? Well, that kind of defeats the whole purpose anyway, doesn't it? You know. And so what I'm trying to, to, to drive towards is doing away with this whole concept of uh, passwords and hence user IDs.